what's going on everybody so as you can probably tell this video is going to be way longer than a normal one for me i'm going to be making an ice boat guide today since the meta has changed so much since i made the last one i think like over a month ago now um i wanted to just kind of showcase these new matchups but anyway we're in we're in the first game hopefully i'm like the goal here is to get like six or seven different matchups um in this video and then i'll probably make a part two with like six or seven other matchups that are that are basically all the meta decks currently being used in the game obviously i can't make a, a matchup guide on every single deck because there's always going to be a random off meta stuff um but i'm going to do the best i can to get what is currently being used um i'm honestly going to go for an expo on zero here since he already used his fireball and i'm pretty sure he's playing graveyard with mortar because what else would he be oh okay <laughs> i guess he's uh not playing that because i mean like usually when you see inferno dragon and mortar in the same deck they have a graveyard too but it looks like he's playing electro giant um so definitely have not faced this deck before but it's gonna knock out two win conditions in the same deck so i guess that's good for the guide here if i can end up winning this game um so i'll just go for the skellies all right he's gonna dark prince i'll get the ice was down to tank for this mortar and also should defend the rest of this dark prince um yeah, gonna be very interesting to see how i'm gonna break through this i'm guessing he has lightning too but i don't really know um he might have fireball did he already use fireball i can't remember but yeah uh, i'm recording this at a decent hour today so hopefully i can give good um like advice on what i'm doing in each matchup so basically against e giant in general you want to just be playing defensive not being too over aggressive unless you have a massive elixir advantage so basically i'm just going to continue to cycle things um in the back until he wants to go in because if i go for an expo which is to free e giant um obviously i did it did it earlier on but i didn't know he was playing electro giant so can't really fault me for that i'm gonna go ice was up high and then tesla to snipe this inferno dragon you also want to control the river um in most matchups honestly you do want to control the bridge as best you can there are a few matchups where it's kind of difficult like royal giant but sometimes, I mean, it really is situational on when you're going to be um, trying to win bridge fights and not. I'm actually going to try and win this one here. Um, I don't have a great cycle, though, so I guess I'll just go for the tornado to pull this back. And, okay, Dark Prince is being weird. I'm going to go for the knight and then Tesla in a second here after this mortar shoots because I don't want it to splash on my Tesla right there. And, yeah, pretty easy defense. He's got the Evo mortar, which is going to make things a little bit more annoying. But as long as I can defend perfectly, I think we can have a pretty good chance of winning this game um, even though he does have fireball so it's not the greatest matchup in the world but you know what i wouldn't be showing you guys if it was a good matchup like that defeats the whole purpose of this so i'm gonna go for tornado and then go skeletons um just to tank for the rest of this and we're in a pretty good situation here i know i haven't gotten any damage yet but um we're still looking pretty good evo knight is gonna get me a shot on tower which is actually wild i don't know how that did that um but yeah we're gonna keep playing defensive right here not gonna go for any offensive expos unless he makes a drastic error here um, i might actually go offensive bow like in the opposite lane at some point okay wait that's a really high mortar because now i can snipe that with a tesla which is going to be very very beneficial for me i'm going to set up another defensive bow outside of fireball range once again and look at that we're slowly creeping back into this game um i'm actually gonna go for the rocket tornado on this electro giant to pull it okay and never mind i guess that just didn't work um i'll go for skelly surrounding this this could get really ugly okay i'm gonna go knight and then we're gonna tank that fisherman on the right side pretty bad tornado by him it's not really gonna get him much value and as long as i can get this tesla down without him protecting we are gonna be okay um so i don't get punished for that mistake right there i swear that rocket nato should have worked i think i just barely didn't have enough elixir to do it in time but that's okay i'm actually gonna tornado this back and skellies to protect my tesla here to make sure it, like ensure that it kills the inferno dragon once again playing that bridge fight to the best of my ability um evo knight you can literally just drop it on top of anything it doesn't even matter what they have it's just going to dps it down so it's kind of carrying me on the defensive end right here at the bridge um okay that mortar is not going to lock onto my expo so i need to be very careful that it's not getting on my tower he's going to e giant as well probably going to tornado if i had to guess i'm going to actually cycle back to another tesla because i need to get another card down so the mortar doesn't lock on my tower um and then i can just go ahead oh no wait that's bad wait 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 that's really bad oh my gosh i got the shot okay um I'm gonna go for the rocket we need to cycle spells here obviously but i don't know if i can even win this um seven seconds i am gonna tornado and then skellies to tank for the mortar get the ice was down please don't shoot okay we're fine 
I almost ended up choking that because I let the evolution of Mordor connect to my tower. You got to be really, really careful with that card because sometimes it'll just be one HP and uh, it just feels like it never dies. But yeah, that's how you beat E Giant Mortar. Um, kind of an off meta deck, but solid. Game number two here against Franco, and I'm guessing he's either playing Hog Cycle or. Okay, Logbait it looks like, since he does have the Goblin Gang as well. Um, and Logbait is a very, very difficult matchup now that the um, Knight is like an Evolution Knight. That's a really unfortunate start. If I just had Tornado and Cycle, I could have easily activated King right there, but sometimes you do get shafted by the starting hand. He is going to go Knight Tesla the bridge, so we kind of know how he's going to play now. He's just going to be an aggressive spam kind of player. Um, I'm going to go Knight because he's probably going to Princess the bridge. Yeah, very, very obvious right there because he already had the Tesla set up. I'm going to Tornado this Princess in if my internet would ever work. There we go. Um, so Log Bait, what you want to be doing, um, it's basically pretty self-explanatory what the goal of it, like the goal is um, you need to bait out the rocket and then try and get an expo connection. But to do that, you need to make sure you're making positive trades and trying to get up an elixir um, so that you can rocket their tower and not get overwhelmed. Um, hopefully that makes sense. You're going to see in my gameplay should be a little bit easier to tell. I like going expo whenever I have a support troop because it's basically going to force out the rocket because if he goes for a knight Tesla right now, I have plenty of time to react. Um, my ice boost is going to get a shot on tower, maybe even two, which is actually very, very important. Every single bit of damage you can get in this matchup is super clutch. I'm just going to cycle the knight in the back, um, but also play it at the bridge because I don't want him to princess on the river and I knew he was going to do that. Okay, Tesla will take that out. And yeah, he's going to need to respond to this knight. Unfortunately, I don't have expo or I would just play it opposite lane right now to force out more elixir from him. Um, so he's just going to go for a gang on top of that, which is okay. So we need to be uh, making sure I don't fall behind in damage too much. Obviously, we don't want to take any barrel damage. Really bad log. I'm actually going to continue to pressure with the expo since I do have the Tesla still alive at like 28% um, health. And it looks like he's not going to rocket this. I'm going to get the knight down now. Oh, perfect timing. Okay, he's going to have to rocket that because if he doesn't, um, yeah, the knight's going to just tank forever. And we'll just go for the Tesla on the right side here. See what he wants to do. He's going to get the gang down. I need to cycle back to another expo. I know we definitely outcycled him here. Um, so I'm going to go for the expo right now. Knight's going to get a couple shots on the left as well, which is pretty clutch. And, oh, crap, he's got Evo Knight. So now he's going to be able to cycle back to his rocket dang that actually sucks because we had such a massive elixir advantage right there but we couldn't do anything with it um which is very unfortunate but sometimes that's just how it goes with the evolution knight you can't you can't kill it like it genuinely will just sit there all game i'll just go skeletons in the middle in case he wants the princess and nice we're gonna log that off the board okay i did not expect my tesla to pop up um at all for that i'm actually just gonna tornado this off and go knight to make sure these goblins don't get a billion damage on my tower um so yeah, just going to continuously... No, that was a really good play by him. I definitely should not have fallen, fallen for that, but it's okay. We're going to have to log this gang this time. Um, and then I'm going to tornado this off. There's the princess. Uh, okay. So he's just spamming the bridge, basically doing what every log bay player does with the princesses and the barrels. Um, it's okay, though. I'm just going to continue to try and stay close to this game because all i need for him to do is make one aggressive rocket and then i can punish him so that's basically what we're hoping for wait 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 i'm gonna go expo on zero because i'm gonna predict him rocketing nice okay this is really really good because his, that tesla is obviously out of range we can log these guy this gang and we're gonna get a connection there's no way he gets a knight down okay if he would have put that on the right side and at like not in NATO range, I probably would have rage quit because I don't know how on earth he had enough for a knight right there. He was literally playing every card on zero, um, but we should still win the game right away because knight's going to tank forever for that Tesla. And we're going to hit him with a little BM because, man, log bait in this meta is very, very toxic and <laughs> super easy to use, in my opinion, um, compared to previous metas. But yeah, we're going to take the win right there. Hopefully that helps you know what to do against bait. All right, into game number three here of the guide. Um, once again, no clue what he's playing, but I'm guessing that it's going to be something um, along the lines of like Royal Giant or Hog because that's what's most popular at the moment. There's also a lot of Expo Pump. Um, I don't know if I'll face that in this video, but I've been facing it a decent bit just playing normally. I'm just going to go for the Knight in the back. There's the Inferno Dragon. So I was thinking 3M from the Heal Spirit, but no, he's got I Drag, um, I Drag Heal Spirits. What could that mean? I'm gonna go... Okay. So, Evo Knight. Um, I don't really know what he's playing, I'll be honest. We're just gonna have to figure it out before I can say... Oh, he's playing Bridge Bam. Okay. 
yeah, there's this new deck. I don't even know if you want to call it new. It's literally just bridge spam, but they throw in the Evo Knight for some reason. Um, it's really hard to beat this deck, and the reason why... Okay, I gotta go for the Rocket here to counter this. Um, but the reason why it's so difficult to beat this deck is because the tanks are insane. Like, they have the Knight, number one, which is already a very, very good counter to the Expo. And then they have the Lumberjack, Ram Rider, like, Bar Barrel, Fireball. It's just it's just really difficult to get damage um, with an Expo. So we're gonna need to be trying to go for something crazy. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go for the Ice Wiz in the opposite lane now because we obviously don't want to give him any spell value. Um, we can just continue to pressure opposite lane here. I'm definitely going to expo. Okay, never mind. He did play something because he wasn't doing anything. I don't know if he was just waiting for me to go expo, but now nah, he plays the Magic Archer. That's good for me because we can get that out of cycle. Magic Archer is a very, very annoying card to deal with. Um, there's the Knight. See, if I go expo right now, he's just going to get a free Inferno Dragon, basically, um, on top of it. So I'm just going to cycle Skellies in the back. We don't need to worry about the Magic Archer, so I can just go for the Knight up high. Um... And yeah, he's gonna eye drag, but that's fine. Let's see, I'm just gonna tornado just to get everything. Wow, that was okay. That did not work out as <laughs> the rage spell just absolutely ruined any chance of uh, having a clean defense right there that I was hoping for. Yeah, it's difficult to get damage, and they can just pressure very, very often. So this matchup might seem okay, like on paper, but it's really, really difficult to get damage back. Um, so I'm just gonna set up the Tesla preemptively. It's kind of what you have to do. He is gonna go for the Evo Knight. And then Fireball. Oh, boy. Okay, we're going to log all of that. And then Skelly's Ice Wiz, Tornado, and then back to another Knight here. I need this Evolution Knight to die. Wow, that just survived for actually forever. Um, he might Magic Archer this, but if he does, I'm just going to have to let it happen. Crap. All right, so not a good start here at all, but not going to give up either because all we need is one good cycle and we can get back into this game. Um so all right we'll go for skellies he doesn't have the evo knight for a couple more rotations so that's kind of the one thing i have going for me at the moment and there's the inferno dragon it's very very difficult to take out that card uh i'm gonna go for the expo oh hold up hold up we can just rocket this right side should clean up all of that and then i can go for my evo knight on the right because he's probably gonna magic archer yep nice okay we're kind of starting to do something here i'll go for the tornado just to get this off the board and then he has to fireball but it's not gonna do anything to the knight obviously i'll pre-log in a second here hopefully he doesn't have enough elixir okay he's gonna barbell but that's not gonna matter because knight's gonna take that out and get on tower for what three swings four oh okay almost a fourth but we'll take that right <laughs> just like that we're right back in this game um skellies to protect perfect timing on those because we knew he was gonna go for the inferno dragon now he's gonna be forced to spend like five more elixir to take this expo out um there's the barbell yeah completely fine with me he's down a lot of elixir right now then we can just go for the knights in the middle and then go for another expo continue to pressure i am going to be patient here in case he magic archer predicts though um so it looks like he's not going to he's down too much elixir to even go for a prediction um there's the evil knight i'll just get the tesla down to start working on that immediately unfortunately the magic archer is lined up perfectly on top of everything so i'm just gonna nato this knight needs to die please holy crap okay um we should be okay as long as i just go for the log and then ice twist to the side right here he does fireball but it doesn't matter because obviously he's got way more damage on that right side than the left so i'll just go for defensive bow 30 seconds left no need to go for anything aggressive at the moment um, i'm just gonna log to kill that magic archer and yeah we're chilling right here he gets a couple shots but it doesn't change anything 20 seconds left i could nato that ram rider but i don't really need to um, i probably should have honestly just thinking about it now but I just don't want to overcommit and lose the game because of it. So Lumberjack's going to walk across the entire map. And yeah, 13 seconds left. Basically nothing he can do. I'm just going to rocket the tower one more time and then get the Tesla down up high. Well, Ice Wiz, just to slow everything down, finish off that Magic Archer. And yeah, even if he was able to break through, we've got the Evo Knight taking his tower on that side. So yeah, you just want to play really, really patient. Wait till you can get the right cycle and then never stop pressuring it in that matchup. All right, in the next match against LED um all right we're just gonna be patient usually i don't really make the first play unless um i have like a login cycle because like i like to wait at least a second to see if they're gonna make the first play i usually will make the first play so just contradicted what i said right there but i wait like a second obviously want to see if they're gonna be the ones making the first play then i'm fine with waiting um and just kind of responding to what they do so i'm just gonna go ice whiz in the middle He's got Knight as well. Maybe we're playing a mirror matchup. Yeah, right. In <laughs> my dreams. Um, all right. He's going to go for the Electro Dragon. 
So I guess I'll just set up a Tesla low. Yeah, this is very, very not common. Knight e drag. I don't think I've played against a knight e drag combination probably ever. I'm just gonna cycle my log, let the e drag um, walk into this other lane, and also counter that skeleton dragon with it with the knight too. And looks like he's playing golem, which is very weird because he has the knight in there. And I can't say I've ever faced a knight golem, but I guess it's probably what in the world. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go for the expo um to take out that elixir collector hopefully yeah really bad night placement by him as well um i don't know what's happening like honestly why does he have knight in this golem deck he could easily just have like um i guess it's i guess none of the evolutions really make sense in a golem deck maybe barbs but nah i mean i, I don't know i guess he just really wanted to play an evolution um <laughs> And he just put it into his main deck because this deck's been pretty popular for a while. I mean, it's not like overwhelmingly good, but I would say it's decent. Um, it's like been decent in the last, probably like over the course of the last year. But anyway, we're gonna we're gonna go for the ice whiz behind this knight. There's the lumberjack. All right, we're, this, so golem. This is how you want to play golem, right? Um, you just kind of want to be aggressive. Make sure you're winning the bridge fights, and then and like in this case scenario, I'm actually gonna go for the expo and then tornado tornado this golem out of range. Oh my gosh, I forgot he had the knight. Um, normally, we would have won the game right there, but he's got the evil knight, so this is going to make things very awkward, actually. Um, okay, I'm going to set up a Tesla. This might actually be an impossible defense now that I just spread myself really thin, like with Elixir. I'm going to Tornado just to keep my Tesla alive, and then Skeletons to hold that lumberjack in the middle right there and okay we're not dead but we don't get any damage unfortunately even though we did predict him going golem uh, which does suck but i guess the knight's gonna make this matchup pretty much one where i'm not gonna win with my expo i'm gonna have to just play defensive that's usually how you win like these matchups anyway if they play correctly you can't get connections with the expo which is still fine um am i actually gonna go for a defensive bow here to kite over this golem because i don't really want to um like waste a rocket tornado on just skeleton dragons so we're gonna go knight up high since we do have the evil one it is gonna give me a ton of value i'm um, just tanking for these dragons while the ice was just taking them out so he's gonna go for another weird placed pump i'm gonna go expo right directly in the center since we do have the oh my gosh this guy is so bad with his like elixir collector protection um i'm gonna go for the ice was to take out these skelly drags yeah we're almost like that golem's already almost half health dps now it's almost dead completely um, i'm just gonna go for the skellies electro dragon is a massive problem for me though because i don't have any way to take it out luckily he misplayed it okay it's one hp of course um i guess i'll just go for knight up high we need to not let that connect okay um we're down 400 which does suck but it is what it is. I'm just going to go for the Tesla to help DPS. Like I said, continue to play Teslas, Teslas at the river um, to control the bridge because you... Oh, why would he do that? Okay. Um, that sucks, but I mean, sometimes you just get unlucky. I thought he was going to go like reset in the back and he literally just skeleton dragon the bridge for no reason, basically. Um, I'm going to go for the knight over here and then Tesla to snipe all that. He wastes another tornado. Um, trying to pull, like, make his E-Dragon connect on my tower, which I really, really need to be careful and uh, make sure that I'm not letting that e drag chain at all, because I could lose the game from literally one Electro Dragon chain at this point. So I'm going to defend my Teslas as much as possible with this. Oh my gosh, okay. We need to NATO this all into the middle. It is very crucial that I'm taking out this Electro Dragon right now. Um, okay, Knight up high, Ice was up high too. We have too many things on the board that that e-drag should not chain oh my gosh that was way too close um 15 seconds left i think i can win this since i do have the evo knight um if i just go for the rockets also going to nato this e-drag back because why not i need to get as much damage as possible and yeah we're going to go for the log just to ensure that i have enough damage to take that tower and yeah we do manage to pull that one off a very very awkward game since he does have the knight um just randomly in that deck so it's super super hard to break through but that's how you want to play you've got to defend flawlessly control the electro dragon and uh, try and win the bridge fights definitely had a hard time beating that golem deck last game just because it was so like i don't know that was very very odd i've never faced a deck that had so much tankage before that i literally could not go in with an expo even if i wanted to um, he's gonna go for the Mega Minion in the back. Could potentially... Okay, we're playing Lava Hound, so that's good. We need to get this matchup for the guide anyway, because Lava is very, very... Um, it's like a...
deck that's always going to be meta. Um, like, it's never going to be the number one best deck in the meta, but it's always going to be in the meta, if that makes sense, um, and being used. So I'm just going to go Skellies to kite over... Okay, that did not work out at all. Um, I'm going to be forced to go Ice Whiz on top of this balloon, which does kind of suck, but it's fine. Okay, we're going to just be patient here. Probably log this tombstone since my cycle is a little bit awkward. If he lavas up, I don't really know what to do. Okay, I think it's probably best to just try and defend here and not go for an offensive bow since he played the lava higher up instead of in the back. We can just rock it if he goes for that, which he does. Um, and now we can just kind of chill because we know he doesn't have enough elixir to really break through this Tesla at the moment. Do need to be careful of the evolution barbs. They can definitely cost me the game like like literally in the blink of an eye you can make one bad play in the evo barbs just get infinite value and take out everything and then you're dead so need to be very cautious of when he plays those we'll just cycle the knight in the back left see what he wants to do here um probably just go skellies for this mega minion over here unless he supports it and okay he is going to support it with a balloon if he fireballs that we do have to tesla unfortunately since my rocket's not in cycle yeah that's fine we can just tesla up high and then he's going to play a zero elixir tombstone which is okay tesla should take out that balloon and then yeah we're chilling about to be in double um okay we'll just log this cycle and then if he lavas um honestly i'm just going to go expo anyways kind of was hoping he went for the lava hound at that exact moment um, but no, he's just gonna skelly drags, which is very, very odd, like odd because um, you would think he'd play the evil barbs, right? But not sure why he's holding on to him. He just gives me a massive lock on. I'm gonna get the Tesla down high early because we need to just start DPSing down this hound. Cycle my log on top of these evil barbs, and then we can just tornado everything off. Um, he does get a good fireball there, but now we can outcycle him. Look at that knight on the left side going absolutely crazy. So Lava Hound, you just want to be... It's like a, it's like a game of just pressure cover, basically. Um, gonna get the Tesla down over here to kite this balloon, and then we need to cycle back to the tornado. Really bad tombstone. I don't know what that was. Uh, kind of just made that defense very, very easy for me. But yeah, Lava Hound, you need to know exactly when to go in and when to just play defense hardcore. This is a situation where I'm probably going to go in, depending on what he does. Yeah, so he fireballs that Ice Whiz. We get the fireball out of cycle. Now I can go for the offensive bow here in a second after I set up on the left. So the reason I'm using my Tesla so freely over here on the left side is because I'm not worried about him going for Lava. Because if he does, he knows he's punished. His only counter to my Expo, like his best counter, is out of rotation, which is the Barbarians, obviously. Um... So I just have a very, wow, he's super, super aggressive with his fireballs on the Ice Whiz, which is completely fine with me. He is going to get the Evo Barbs down, but I think we can control them long enough to where I can get a connection. If I go for the Zero Elixir Tornado, yeah, we're going to get the lock on, which is very, very huge. It's actually going to be like seven, 800 damage, even though the Expo only had a sliver of HP. I'm going to probably go for another bow. Never mind. I thought he might lava in the back um so he's playing very odd okay there's the lava we're gonna go expo just so he has to respond and now that he doesn't have skelly drags and cycle we can easily defend this hound with just a tesla and if he fireballs that which he probably will um no, he's gonna go barbs in the middle even if he does okay yeah, he is gonna fireball now we can just cycle back to another ice whiz and should have a pretty easy defense yeah he's also gonna balloon but we already are back to another tesla so basically basically a wasted balloon there from him we can just tornado everything off continue to defend and i think at this point i'm going to just try and lock down on defense as much as i possibly can we'll go for the second tesla in the middle here this is kind of getting a little bit swarmy um, we'll get the evo knight down just cycle my log to get back to another ice whiz since he did just fireball we can cycle another tesla all the way in the opposite corner and hopefully defend this push um yeah he's gonna cycle back to another fireball but i need to be a little bit careful that he doesn't okay i need to get back to an ice whiz because if he zaps or something then that actually could connect to my tower. Now we're fine. Get the Tesla down, and even though he did make it decently close, um, I always was in control of this game. You just need to make sure that once you do get the lead, you don't just let them continuously lava pressure you the entire game. You do have to be pressuring with your expo back, just in order to not allow them to continuously pressure the entire game. Um, and fireball your tower, get that damage, and yeah, that's how you beat Lava Hound. Pretty solid win right there. Hopefully we can go ahead and get one more good matchup here. Not good matchup, like one more good game. Um, I've been playing for like probably, I don't even know, about two hours now. So hopefully there's been some good games. My voice is definitely leaving me though um, from so much 
be talking, but he's gonna go for the Evo Knight in the back. We haven't played a Hog, we haven't played a single RG, and we haven't played a single um, Graveyard either, so maybe, okay, this could be Graveyard. That would be good to finish off the video. Um, so part two will probably feature those whenever I do get around to making that. Okay, he's got the Bowler. Um, interesting, I think he still probably has Graveyard though, because Bowler, Tombstone Knight, like that's just too many cards that make sense with graveyard for it not to be graveyard if i don't know if that if that explanation makes any sense i'm just gonna go for the ice whiz okay did i just lose i might have just lost um looking at tornado these larry's and then go for the skellies here and then okay we have to log this since he does have freeze um yeah not the greatest start but now that we know he has freeze i should never fall for like like basically let him get a push off like that again um and as long as i can control the rest of this match and hopefully win the bridge fights um we should be able to get some damage back and uh obviously win the game in the end is the goal here so in this matchup you just want to play kind of defensively until you have the right cycle it's pretty ideal to have a defensive expo on the board before you go in for an offensive one um but that doesn't always happen so we're just gonna have to kind of play this one out by by ear and see what happens so he is going to go for the bowler again which is pretty annoying um, I need to NATO this off because if I don't, he's just going to go for another graveyard and I'll be screwed. He's actually going to graveyard again, isn't he? Like, I don't have anything to take out that bridge. Ugh, okay, that's annoying. Um, we're going to go for the Evo Knight and then Skellies just to pull back everything. We'll go ahead and Ice Whiz in Tornado just to make sure this I Drag doesn't take my entire tower. Yeah, okay, we're fine. Um, so we have a half, eh, like 70% HP Evo Knight, which could last the rest of this game, realistically. Um, I'm gonna set up a defensive bow here because I need to start building into an offensive, like, expo, and if I'm gonna continually get spammed by Graveyard, then I, uh, am gonna need to try and counter push. So, he is gonna get the bowler, wow, I can't believe that bowler hit my, um, expo right there, I guess that was a pretty good play by him. We'll just Tesla up high, he is gonna freeze, need to get the log down, we're still taking a lot of damage just from the Graveyard, um, by itself, then we can finally go for an offensive bow here. Unfortunately, my expo is dead on defense, but that's fine. I'm going to NATO this knight out of range just so he's forced to go for the freeze on... Okay, is he not going to freeze? Wait, hold up. We're getting a ton of damage. I thought he would have froze by now. We actually need to rocket this, though, to take all this out. The knight isn't going to die. I need to block the bridge because he's going to graveyard. Yeah, very obvious graveyard right there. We definitely would have lost the game if I didn't block the bridge, and I think we're fine now. If I just go for this late log, he's waiting for the freeze. Okay, he's not going to play it. Wow. Um... I could have defended that way better, but I thought that he would freeze, so I was trying to be patient and not spread myself too thin. Um, we'll go for the Ice Wiz to counter this eye drag, and this game's still definitely in his favor at the moment, but you never know. We can still pull this one off. Gonna go for the Tesla just to take out the majority of things here at the river. He's probably gonna NATO this back. I need to NATO his bowler because that could hit my tower. Um, luckily, I think we pulled that off in time. He's probably gonna freeze this. Yeah, so we need to just go for the log to make sure these skellies don't take my tower. And yeah, okay, so 600 HP. We have two knights on the board. Hmm, this is rough. I'm gonna go for the defensive bow. I know, call me crazy. There's only 600 health on my tower, but I think this is the only way I can win the game. Uh, or have any chance of winning is to try and cycle two expos because just one expo by itself he's going to be able to counter it pretty easily um i'm gonna go for the third knight i literally have three knights on the board we can just skellies to tank for that eye drag and then we can go ahead and spam the left side now um there's the bowler he's most likely gonna freeze so i'm gonna pull this back with the nato really good timing we can log as well um go for my evo knight and we could uh okay if he didn't have Evo Knight and Cycle right there, I might have been able to do something, but I'm going to go for a second Expo. Um, prediction, the Bowler with a Tesla. Nice. That's really, really good. Should take that out before he has enough to freeze. Nice. Okay, wait, wait. I can actually win this right here if I play this correctly. There's the Knight. We need to Rocket NATO, and he doesn't have any ground units in Cycle. He doesn't have Freeze in Cycle. We get the connection. Okay. Skellies to tank for the Graveyard. He's going to go for... What does he even have? He doesn't have anything. Expo's gonna take his tower. We're gonna defend that graveyard, and we finally pulled that one off. Um, really good way to end it, and I hope these um, these games helped you get better with Icebo and like understand matchups overall, and we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.